In this video, I'm going to show you how to absolutely torch the pressure from five wide in Madden 21. What's going on, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, my channel focuses on helping people become the best Madden player they can possibly become. And so if you're looking to get better at this game, I want to encourage you to click the subscribe button at the bottom of the screen. It's completely free to subscribe, and it just allows you to be able to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies right here on the channel. Now in this video, we're gonna be breaking down specifically how you can beat the pressure blitz. And we're gonna first focus in on man-to-man -man pressure out of the gun five wide receiver trips mini scheme. Now this five wide receiver trips formation is found uh, in several playbooks, but the best one that I've found is in the run and shoot playbook. It has all of the plays that you need to be successful. And that is where we're gonna talk about our blitz beater specifically um, today we're talking and focusing in on man-to-man -man pressure and again we'll talk about the rest of it as we go through and so when I think about beating man-to-man -man pressure quick one of my favorite plays is the stick concept um, or you can also do things out of thing out of plays like inside switch you could also do things out of the play slants curl flats um, we're gonna try to talk as conceptually as possible because the beautiful thing about five wide is because of where we're at on the field, we can really do some different things with motion snapping and all kinds of things to be able to beat man to man, especially cover zero types of pressure. But we're gonna give you kind of a, a couple of really easy tools uh, in this video for you to be able to do that. And we're gonna just come out uh, in our base play, the inside switch, but with our audibles here, I've got curl flats, smash levels, and hitches. Those are the plays that we've got set as audibles. And I just want to go over uh, specifically like Mike Blitz Zero. This is a really good pre uh, really good blitz that you're going to see. Um, you're going to see basically this kind of setup right here, you know, where they're basically going to, and you'll see this a lot, where they'll use a rush right down the middle. Um, you know, so basically they're going to blitz their user right down, right down Main Street, right, right down the middle. So how do I like to beat the pressure from this? Um, honestly, relatively simply, and again, it doesn't have to, it, it could be from any of these plays, but this is the five wide receiver trips mini scheme. Again, if you want to join the text membership, that's the best way to get access to the full scheme. So just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Uh, my number is also in the description and in the top left hand corner of your screen. But whenever I think about beating man to man pressure, if I want to like really torch it, there's a bunch of different things that I need, but the biggest thing that I need to be able to torch man-to-man -to -man pressure is like quick reads, quick routes that I can do. So this is where I really like to leverage different types of motion snaps, um, different types of you know movement and things like that. So anyways, without further ado, let's talk about some routes here that you can use. So now uh, let's go to our base play here. This is inside switch. And if you, if you take a look at this, one of the things you're going to notice is if the linebackers blitz, the safeties are in man-to-man -man coverage. Okay, these safeties in man-to-man -man coverage are not going to be able to jam the receivers. So this is why I really like to use just simply double drags um, is actually a really really good way to beat man-to-man. -man. So what I can do with this triangle receiver is you know I can put them on a little flat route if in case I think they might be you know in zone pressure because if they're in zone pressure then he's gonna pull the flat out and I'll be able to hit this drag but what you're gonna see is this R1 receiver um, is gonna get wide open right over the middle now what you have to understand is their user is going to obviously be the middle of the field so it is likely that if they see something like this let me show you this real quickly uh, from a zone look to explain my my reasoning as to why I like to put that flat out there. The reason I like to do that is because you're going to see that you're going to create this underneath underneath little mesh concept. But what's going to happen is this flat's going to pull this zone out of the way, so it's going to allow us to hit this read to God just like that. Really simple, okay? So what we're what we're basically wanting to try to accomplish is we're wanting to at least force like if their user is going to um if they're going to blitz us five man pressure um and then i want to just show like if they user here if they get down in here and then let's just say they're like on a spy let's just you know just just for example um that they've taken away the middle routes is what i'm trying to get at well what we can do then is we've got these two underneath meshing routes just like this okay 
their user is going to have to go guard that. Um, and so then on the back side, what we can do is we can do anything we want with this circle receiver um, that is a man-beating route. My favorite route to put him on to beat man-to-man -man is a curl route. If I want to beat the zone, I'm going to put him on an out route, okay? You can put this guy on an out route. I just want to show you what this looks like. You see the out route does okay. In mutt, you're going to have a little bit better of a chance because you're going to have a, a, you know some abilities that you can put on players to be able to make them a little bit more effective. In Madden 22, out routes are a lot more effective than they have been this year. So just know that, but I do want to make sure that you're able to be able to beat it with pretty much every route on this play. And so um, another thing that you can do is simply put him on a curl. The timing's practically the same. The one thing I don't like about the curl is, as you saw right there, we're, we're in a situation where we could be in, in trouble. Now, another thing that I like to do like against the blitz, because again, this, we're talking about press coverage, right? So this is like press, press, excuse me. This is like press pressure, right? So if they press blitz and they get in your face and they want to send pressure. So this is a really good play if you think they're going to press you. I like to put Brown on a fade. This is going to prevent them from playing press coverage. Um, I've got my post on the back side here. And then now, you know, basically what we've got to do is we've got to figure out what routes are we going to put on these other players that are going to help us against man-to-man -man coverage. One of the routes that I really like is I love to put this little uh, Chris Godwin here. I love to put him on either a zig route or an out route. Something as simple as this is really good because he's going to break away from the play and uh, we're going to have an opportunity to be able to hit him. Now, what I like to do on the back side of this is I like to basically um, essentially do kind of the same concept. So I'm going to use a motion slant. That slant is going to pretty much almost always is going to hold the user so I can motion Johnson and then you'll see that this see this movement right here this is going to just create you know real quick reads over the middle so if they basically what that slant's going to do you have to look at it like this it's really important that you look at it like this that slant is going to hold the user so at the snap of the ball because you don't want to like because what's going to happen is if you don't look at it like that you're going to he's going to lurk down and he's going to come back up and he's going to pick that off um, so you have to understand that you have to look at that slant as a route that's going to hold the user. So if that's the case, then the more we look at this, we can actually get some really good, really big plays um, against the blitz. So for example, if we do a concept like this, this concept right here is really, really good against the blitz. Why? Well, because we've got an out route that's going to get open. We've got this little angled hitch that's going to get open against the zone. We put a, a hot route crosser that is also going to get open. And if they're press coveraging, then we're going to have an opportunity for a big play. But right off the rip, we can always throw this route to Mike Evans. Okay, So you have to kind of start with some of these basic things um, before you can move on to, to the other things. So these are just basic little tools that you can use to beat the pressure. And I'll tell you, it's very likely they're going to shift their line this direction because they get the plus one zone on the left side. If they do that, they could be able to uh, drop their defensive end in a zone. So you're probably going to get a look that's quasi like that. And basically, I will say from man to man, um, it, it's just not a good look. Like man to man is not a sound. I mean, there's, I, don't, I don't know how else to explain it. You will get man to man coverage. Um, this out route beats man right to the sideline, just easy, quick read. What I like about that is it's quick. It's hot. It's We're throwing it right now. We're throwing it quick. What I like about this also is let's say that they zone out everybody, right? So let's say you get a look like that. Well, this five-yard little little out route, and you could, you could also use a zig. Um, if you want to use a zig, you can. See how he just cooks man? Easy to the outside. And the biggest reason why is because he doesn't get pressed. He's not able to get pressed, so they can't disrupt his route which is something I really value. Now, um, the other thing that you can do is you can use um, corner route, like this concept right here. And what's really good about this play is if they shade down, then you've got this nice little po or um, this nice little streak over the middle. So we got, basically we've got a corner route um, and then we've got this hitch. So I can motion over Johnson just like this if they're in press coverage, um, 
you know, typically the user will go right, and so you can th or go go to the post, and so you can throw the corner. So that's a little bit of a deeper play for the blitz. Um, you know, the thing about five wide, you have to understand is you don't, you, you're not going to be able to block a six man pressure. You're just not. Um, you know, you only got five blockers. So that's where it's really important that you understand. Okay, how can I beat the blitz? You have to be prepared. So. This is why I also like a play like curl flat. Why do I like curl flat? Because this this uh, post route in the middle of the field, you can smart route this, so it's gonna basically be a deep slant, easy, quick read. Easy, quick read. So I've got two out routes. Curl flats will beat the blitz pretty well, just straight up running it as is. Um, and, and here's why, because you're gonna see that Miller's not gonna get pressed, neither is Godwin. So the user's gonna have to choose from the jump Typically, he's going to choose the post. So I can just work the out route every single time. Um, if I wanted to, I could also do something a little bit more man beater ish. Um, again, I don't want to just completely sell out to beat man because I just don't think you're going to get a ton of man out of this look just because of how good this offense is against man. But if they do run man, I could put a skinny post on the outside like this. And then I could basically, um, you know, run a slant curl concept on this backside, something like that, really simple. Um, and what you'll see is this, basically just get these little crossers that you can hit in man coverage. So those are a couple of easy ways that you can beat man. Again, the big thing you've got to watch is you've got to watch the backer. Um, you have to watch this guy right here. If this guy is coming through the A gap, then you want to throw right in behind him. But if he's dropping into coverage right here, then, and that's why I really like routes like curl flat where I've got a quick read on both sides. So wherever the linebacker chooses to defend, I'm throwing in the opposite direction. So the whole thing about five wide uh, spread against pressure is you've got to have those hot reads, those quick reads that come from where the blitz just came from. Well, where does the blitz come from out of three, three, five wide? It comes from the middle linebacker and it comes from the outside linebacker. So those six players in the middle of the field, that's where we're throwing. So we're either throwing slants or we're throwing posts. And it's, it's really not too crazy hard. I mean, we can throw outs as well, but you know, where I really want to throw, and again, because if they get in your face, this is why you want to have an out route. But where I really want to throw, if they blitz me, is I want to throw in the middle, so right there, okay? And that's, in, that's, in, that's in our first play that we talked about from inside switch. So the point is just that uh, the cool part is this works against my blitz, like if they, if they blitz out of um, hard flats. So if they blitz out of hard flats, I just want to show you this real quick, and we're going to talk more about zone pressure um, in a future video. But let's say they blitz out of hard flats, right? And you're running curl flat. Watch this. He's still wide open. Why? Because the out routes are pulling these hard flats out of the way. So, what we so then what we can apply um, to the back side of this is again that idea of making the user choose. So we can have this curl route. Whoops, not the curl route. Uh, this post route from curl flat, and then we can also have this um, like flat slant flat combo. So now the user has to choose because we can throw right in that pocket all day long. Very easy, very simple um, to be able to hit that route. So, and the other, I honestly probably like, you know, something like a simple little, I mean, I'm thinking like just a simple in route just to get the user to stay still. If, cause he's going to have to, I mean, they have to at least honor the fact that you've got a player right there. So if you're running this play and you run Godwin on a slant and Brown, and you can li just leave him on a curl, watch the purple jet out. I can throw right there. So I've got windows, windows. You know, passing is all about understanding grass pockets, windows, lanes, throwing lanes. Where are the throwing lanes? And hit the throwing lanes against the blitz. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And again, if you want to get the full five wide receiver trip scheme, I'm going to be releasing it as a 
text message membership video uh, later this week. So just text the word Madden to 208-218-6900 to sign up for that. Every single week I release free offenses and defensive schemes uh, to my text message members. It's completely free and it always will be. So make sure to sign up for that. We got a lot of great content coming for you in preparation for Madden 22 and obviously for Madden 22 launch. So text the word Madden to 208-218-6900 and we'll talk to you there.